And away they go then. This small but incredibly high quality field of elite ladies athletes. Mary Kaitani knows this course full well. I should mention, of course, that the course has changed slightly. About 90% of it is the same as uh, in previous years. This start-finish area, of course, is on the other side of the lagoon, the opposite side of the lagoon from uh, the first 10 editions of this event. But uh, for all intents and purposes, the course is pretty much identical. Indeed, talking to one or two people, they've said it's uh, actually possibly slightly faster because the shelter from the wind in one or two sections is a little bit more sympathetic go on, go on, than in uh, previous years or previous uh, versions of the course. Well, there you can see the athletes have just passed the 3K marker, and I got it at about 9.21, so they certainly did slow down quite substantially for that third kilometre, and that's perfect. It gets them back on schedule for something around 66 minutes. It means that uh, although they haven't run in the most conservative way to the three-kilometre point, it means that they have had a slight breather, so to speak. That uh, second kilometre, that third kilometre, I think, has been run in around. 316 317 so they've gone and these aren't official by the way these times but about 308 uh second kilometer i have it about 256 257 and then about a 314 so it's uh a little bit up and down so to speak but good to see just about all the ladies there yeah and, and you know what i was just thinking whilst you were running over the splits there tim we've been talking as we should do about kaitani and chip church and sumgong and, and de Barber. but what an opportunity for the likes of rose chalimo 60 on the left chip koskai just to her left wearing 61. it's not absolutely guaranteed that that one of the big four will win it's likely but this is great to see other young East African athletes deciding that they'll challenge the Olympic marathon champion Sungong, the, the greatest 10,000 meter runner, Dibaba. You know, the big four might not have this race all their own way. Absolutely right. And wouldn't it be lovely if uh, we had an unpredicted result? You know, there's there's nothing in as exciting in sports as a result that you don't expect. And there's, in many respects, it's not great to have a, a result come up that people were able to predict the only thing is that of course with the quality of that quartet that we've been talking about uh, you could put your money on any one of them and make a pretty good argument for that uh, placing that money that way as we once again return our attention to the leading elite women 1540 at 5k so it's not quite world record pace tip but it's still very very fast Yes, it is. It's uh, almost exactly on 66-minute tempo. If they were going around in uh, 67, uh, sorry, 307, 308 per kilometre, that is pretty much spot on. 15.40 for 5K, so it is quick. And uh, one or two of those ladies will be under pressure. One or two of them will be very comfortable. And four or five of them will be feeling so-so, uh, I suspect, at this pace, because it is... For many of them, a personal best tempo that's being laid down. And it's at times like this, when you, uh, your resolve is tested. Have you done the training? Have you done the hard work? Have you put in the miles, the right balance of speed and endurance? Because if you overextend yourself this early in the race, I mean, they're only just at, uh, what, about five and a half kilometers now. If you overextend yourself this early, then you will have a very, very tough morning at the races. Well, we saw Sungong having a, a little bit of a bad patch just in those early stages in the yellow vest. She looks like she's focusing and working hard. So too does Paris Chep Churchill. Chep Churchill is the reigning world half marathon champion. She's slightly obscured. 59 minute flat tempo with that one having kicked in so fast. The elite women coming up to 10 kilometers now. Oh, this is good. Kaitani, three times a winner of Ras Al Khaimah in the red vest, just obscured behind Jeffrey Kip Yeager is Peris Chip Church here, the reigning world half marathon champion. And alongside them, the 23 year old Joycelyn Chip Koskai, who's only been in serious training, Tim, for two years, coached by her husband. 
she's looking really good here she's in illustrious company and, and more to the point she's got some incredible athletes currently behind her long way to go but what a positive start to the race for the 23 year old no exactly right in fact the ladies have passed 10k we'll try and bring you that split as soon as we can 15:40 for 5k and 10k 31:07 the official clocking for the ladies at 10k had a couple of minutes to go now but uh, it's uh, still valid and from that we can extrapolate a fairly accurate finishing time were they to maintain this tempo rob yeah i think it's quick it's it might even be high 65s to low 66s it is very very fast indeed 10k in his world record he ran 27.53 well they've gone through today in 27.52 kaitani in the ladies race let's go back to them we haven't seen them for quite a while 46.30 at 15k and uh, we'll just uh, check the graphs and see what sort of tempo that puts them on. Kaitani, 46.30. Well, I have them there. In that case, heading for something around, again, about 65.40. So they are well inside 66-minute tempo. And that's incredible, Tim, when you think only three women have run inside 66 minutes. The top three in the world. The world record is 65.09 with Kiplagat. Kaitani's run 65.50. That was here in 2011. But what a great run from Perez Chip Church here. So she's leading at the moment alongside the pacemaker, Jeffrey Kipiego, and Kaitani in second place in the race with a few more meters opening up to Joycelyn Chepkoskai wearing 61 in third. But Perez Chep Church here, if she keeps going here, she's on course for a massive personal best, Tim. Her lifetime best set here last year when she was fourth in 66.39. And this is a very significant point because Perez Chep Church here just beginning to wrestle control of the race from the pacemaker and try to turn the screw and put pressure on Kaitani there in second place. And questions being asked of the former world record holder, the event record holder mary kaitani remember we can't really call her 6550 the course record because the course has changed this year slightly but kaitani is being tested here make no mistake and perez jep chia chip must know that she must be aware of it she'll have caught a view of kaitani out of the corner of her eye joycelyn jep koskai in the background really beginning to struggle now i think there's been a surge here from perez jep chia chip well and just looking at this shot tim glance back down the field and you'll see Jemima Sungong, the reigning Olympic marathon champion and right at the back back of shot now just disappearing Tiranish to Barber so two of the big four have been blown out the back here and they are a long way adrift of this searing pace being set by Chip Church here and it's only Kaitani hanging on to her coattails for company and we should remind ourselves Tim in the 20 half marathons that Mary Kaitani has contested, she has only lost one. That was when she was third in Lisbon in the autumn of 2007. That is how rarely she's beaten over this distance. So she has been undefeated over this distance for almost 10 years. And here she is in second place, and Perez Chep Church here is asking the questions of the mercurial Mary Kaitani. And Kaitani is really having to dig deep here. But she is the ultimate competitor of Kaitani. She's won five of her ten marathons. Three times she's won in New York. And that is one of the most competitive marathons in the world. She's the second fastest in history in the marathon with her personal best of 2.18, 2 hours 18, 37. That was in London in 2012. The London marathon as opposed to the Olympic marathon, which of course was four months later. Well, here you can see the athletes are on the course, heading out, uh, heading in a northeasterly direction along the uh, Al-Qazim Corniche Road. And this is absolutely dead flat, dead straight as well, as you can see. 
Of course, some athletes find that psychologically this is very tough when you can see the road stretching out for a long way, a mile, maybe two miles in front of you. They find it actually uh, quite challenging mentally. But they will head uh, under the rack bridge. And with 51 and a half minutes on the clock, they've only got about 15 minutes of running to go, maybe less. But is this going to turn into a little cat and mouse affair now between Jeff Chirchir and Kaitani? Or are, is one of them going to cut loose and race for the line, race for the record? Victory sometimes gets in the way of record chasing. It's hard to pick a winner at this stage, isn't it? I mean, I guess because of the longevity of Kaitani's success, you might put her down as a marginal favourite. But Peris Chet Churchier smashed a world-class field in Cardiff last year in brutal conditions to take a fabulous gold medal. And as you've already indicated and reminded us all, Tim, that wasn't her only half marathon win last year. There were three more as well. This is very, very fast from both of them. Still going well in third is Chip Koskai. She's now become a little bit isolated, and I wonder whether one or two of the rest will maybe fancy trying to close her down a little bit. I mean, she's still running very well indeed, considering her lifetime best is 69.07. Winning in Carla Vivari last year. She's going to absolutely obliterate that time. Only been running seriously for two years. But at the front, the battle is between Chep Churchier and Kaitani. And Mary Kaitani is still there, still waiting, still watching. But the question is, at this really fast pace, can she find something over the last couple of kilometers? Well, we're about to find out. Well, 17K has come and gone for the lane. Pretty good at the moment. Now, with the women's race, Tim, this is a break here from Perez Chep Church here and Kaitani is really having to hang on here. Chep Church here, well, is this the definitive bid to outstrip Kaitani and deny her a fourth rack title? Well, she's trying desperately to hang on. She's already got the gap as Kip Chia Chia. That is, uh, Chep Chia Chia, that is so important. Psychologically, that elastic band has now probably snapped because that is quite a big gap. Look, you can see there, 20 meters between Jeff Chirchip and Mary Kaitani as they turn at the northernmost point of the course and they now face the long, long run down alongside the Rack Lagoon with the lagoon on their left. That turn is at uh, about 18 and a half kilometers. Jeff Chirchip very much back to full power. It's great to see she had an astonishing 2016 year of racing, just went to the well one time too many when she got to uh, Delhi last November and she was well beaten there sixth in Delhi in fact but this is Jep Chia Chia perhaps the name for the future she's only 23 her lifetime best 66 39 when she was fourth last year here in Razal Kaima surely that time is going to be improved but Kaitani isn't finished deep deep concentration hunched shoulders there from the little athlete in pink trying desperately to get back to her compatriot well, she cannot allow this gap to grow any bigger, Tim. And look, look at the information coming from the pacemaker. Jeffrey Kipiego still talking to Perez Chep Church here. It's still a cracking run from Kaitani, judging by the pace they're on at the moment. But when you think that Perez Chep Church here lost three months at the end of last year to pneumonia, this is a very, very impressive performance. And, and Kuroki has sent that signal back to Augustine Chogi by looking behind him. And, and it is Augustine Chogi who's gone into the lead as we now look at the climax of the women's race. 61.40 at 20K for the ladies there. And Perez Jep Chirchep has got that gap. There's a grimace on those feet, those, that uh, forward though. She's working very hard here. She's got the gap. And Mary Kaitani, top right of picture. I don't know if you saw it just then. She had a little glance over her shoulder. And that's very telling. 61.40 at 20K. Well, that, I have that. We'll bring them home in around 65.40, something like that. 
hard to extrapolate because we just don't know how well they're going to cover these last few hundred meters. But there's no doubt about it that uh, Perez Jepcic has worked incredibly hard for that gap. And I think it's a winning gap. Well, Tim, if it is as quick as that, it could be the second fastest time in history. The two best performances have come from the same woman on the same course. Florence Kiplegat ran 65-12 in Barcelona in 2014 and then shaved three seconds off that time the following year, also on the same course with 65.09. This is a very, very good run indeed from Perez Chep Church here. And actually, Mary Kaitani's not running too far outside what was then a world record performance here in Ras Al Khaimah in 2011 with 65.50. This has been absolutely brutal and relentless from Chep Church here. Wow. I know she's the world half marathon champion, but bearing in mind the time she's running and the women she's leaving trailing in her wake, this could be her greatest ever performance over 13.1 miles. Albeit less of a surprise than her win in Cardiff last year. She's a delightful young lady. She really is quite expansive when you can sit and chat with her and uh, get her attention. She comes from a farming family. I asked her last year, what was her childhood like? She said, well, my father was a good farmer, so we ate well, we were always okay. And uh, she is a more than a good runner and is gonna take home big prize money with the win that looks to be heading her way now. And the young lady, Perez Jip Chia Chia, the reigning world half marathon champion, has the world of half marathon running at her feet. She said back in November in Delhi, Rob, didn't she, that she was thinking of running a marathon later on this year. She hasn't come out and stated where yet. She's not down to do a spring marathon as far as I'm aware, but surely the world of marathon running will be battling for her attention now as she comes through the uh, 21 kilometer line. Is that 64.56? Mary Kaitani is rallying. She's desperately trying to get there, but here comes the champion. And look at the time, 65.06. And that could be the world record is 65.09. We might have just seen a world record. It came at us so suddenly. I think, I think we we've just seen the world record broken. Incredible from Paris Chep Church here. The best time we've ever seen from a woman is Florence Kiplick at 65.09. And you can see what that's taken out of Paris Chep Church here. We have witnessed history here on the 11th edition of the Ras Al Khaimah Half Marathon. His Highness is delighted.